Hey guys, Nick, if you're the one who in this game today, I'm teaching you guys how you can install the camping mod in Minecraft 1.8. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, you need to go to rickamold.com slash camping slash download or the first link in the description down below. Go down there, click that, it will take you to this page where you want to actually download two things. First off is the mod itself, so we want to right click on that and open that in a new tab. And then we also want to click on download core right here. So let's go ahead and click on the download core. It will then take us off here where we have to uh, wait a couple seconds before the download starts. As you can see, there they are. There's the core mod. And there is the camping mod. Keep both of those, and boom. You're not done downloading yet, though. First off, you need to go to, or second off, I guess. You need to go to files.minecraftforge.net, or the second link in the description down below. It'll take you here where you want to hover over 1.8. Make sure it's bolted. If it is, you're good to go. If it's not, go ahead and click on 1.8 there. Nevertheless, once you've made sure you've got the correct version of Forge, you want to find the download recommended box over here, and under that, click on Installer. It will then take us off to Add Focus, where we have to wait six seconds. In these six seconds, I'm going to say this. If you have any issues with Add Focus, simply right click and reload. If that doesn't help you out, Google how to enable cookies in whatever browser you have. Go to the tutorials there, come back here, and it should work. If it doesn't, there's nothing I can do for you. Add Focus Assembly Forge has to use to you make a little bit of money back for all of the work they put into their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click Skip Add there, and boom, right here is Forge. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser, we have three mods on our desktop. First, the camping mod, second, Rick Mold's core, and thirdly, we have Forge. Now, if these are on your desktop, don't freak out. Hit the Windows scanner your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in downloads, not desktop, downloads, and they will be here. If they are in the downloads folder, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once they're on your desktop, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge. You want to open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. It will then open up this handy little installer when we want to click on install client, click OK, and it'll go through, download some things, do some stuff, and woohoo! Successfully installed a Forge client profile. Awesome. Click OK, and now we can delete the Forge file we downloaded. Now let's go ahead and actually get these two mods installed. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent AVV DATA percent percent app data percent. Hit enter and then go into the dot Minecraft folder. In here you should have a mods folder, but Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out. Just create it. Right click over here in the white space. Create a new folder right like this new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like i have it if it's not it will not work once you've created this new mods folder though go ahead and open it and drag both the rick mold score and the camping mod into it there you go now let's go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher once you're in the Minecraft launcher, we're going to make sure we're playing the Forge uh, version. Because if we're not, this won't work. Now, as you can see here, if we go down here to Profile, we're going to click on the one we want to play. In my case, it's going to be Nick's Games. Hit Edit Profile. And then you can have Use Version here. For me, I've already got Forge selected. You most likely will not. You'll most likely have, like, Use Latest Version, Release 1.8, something like that. Click on that. Whatever it says, doesn't matter. And scroll all the way down to the bottom, where you'll see Release 1.8 Forge. Click on that. Click Save Profile and click Play. It'll now go through, download some stuff, do some things, and open up Minecraft with Forge and the Camping Mod installed. It's a pretty nifty thing. Forge is the mod API, allowing all of these mod creators to use Forge to basically bootstrap all of their mods and make them much easier for us to install. And if it wasn't for Forge, mod packs and all that stuff wouldn't even exist. So, yeah. Anyway, once you're on the Minecraft main menu here, you can go into the mods folder and you'll see that we have Rick Mold's core and the camping mod both installed, but that's not good enough for me. We're going to launch into this creative world. I'm going to get an error here. That's just simply because I installed a mod previous to this and now none of that stuff exists because I uninstalled it when I deleted the mods folder. Nevertheless, we go ahead and hit E here. We can go and click on the arrows and here's the camping mod and everything it adds a sleeping bag, a campfires, and all of that stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the camping mod. If you do, Awesome. If you don't, well, there's other mods out there for you. But nevertheless, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make awesome Minecraft videos and tutorials and Let's Plays and other video game Let's Plays. I make tons of videos every single day of the week, so uh, be sure to subscribe for all of that. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Nick's Craft, the epic and awesome Minecraft 1.8 Let's Play series, where I play uh, Minecraft 1.8 Vanilla. Have some fun, and it's incredible. Go check it out. If you enjoy Let's Plays, you'll enjoy that. We're building a village in the sky and a hotel in the side of a mountain. It's, it's, it's crazy. Go check it out. Mega builds galore. And down the other way, we've got installing random things in 1.8. How to get the random things mod in Minecraft 1.8, which just adds a bunch of random things to Minecraft. Go check it out. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.